Hey guys, um, just making a tutorial today on the Moog Minotaur bass synthesizer. How to hook it up, um, um, how to automate parameters on it via MIDI instead of having to do it live when you um, making a track or something. Um, all right, so let's get started. First off, you want to plug it in via USB, um, let all the drivers and all that stuff um, install, and have the audio coming back into your audio interface. And I'll show you how to set all that up now. First off, so the unit's on, it's plugged up, we've got the USB on, all the lights are on, so, so we go up to device, device setup, and you just want to make sure it's all plugged in right, so we go to here, and the input's active, that's all fine, that's all you need, you need this one, there's no outputs for this, so it's just the Moog inputs and the out is um, inactive, obviously because it doesn't have one, go OK, so we, we just go up and add, add MIDI track, Create it, we'll call this the Moog. So volume pan. I don't know if that matters or not, but so here where it says all MIDI inputs, this is what's gonna trigger the device. So I've got like a uh, impulse keyboard or the oxygen keyboard or just my normal keyboard, whatever the fuck you want. Um, so that's gonna trigger it. And the output we wanna choose obviously the the de device that we want to um, trigger. So and that's going to be our Moog. So we turn that on, and that's fine. So this MIDI track obviously, obviously isn't going to make any audio. It's only sending data. So I'll make some data in there, some notes. There we go. So now at this point, you should be seeing the MIDI light on the Minotaur lighting up, receiving the signals. Yep, and that's all sweet. So now I add another track, an audio track. It's going to be a mono track because we're going to have the uh, the signal come back is only one channel. It's only one, yeah, one single channel. So we call this the Moog Audio. All right. So I'll go back into device setup again, just to show you guys the way my audio interface is set up. It's an eight channel interface, but I only have, oh, sorry, uh, VST connections. Uh, it's an eight uh, channel, uh, eight uh, input audio interface, but I, only have two um, active at the moment because that's all I need right now. Uh, so the left one, that's what analog one, that's what uh, where my microphone that I'm talking to now is plugged into. So that's the left, but it's mono, so it doesn't sound good. And the right one will be analog two. So that's what we're going to have the Moog plugged into. Okay, so in here, so when you go your input, remember that's my microphone. And over here, this is the Moog in the right. So I'll click that volumes up that's all sweet so what you have to do to hear it is click on the monitor click that on and we should if it plays here audio um yep that's fucking loud me um you guys won't hear that because i'm not sure how to set that up so you guys can hear that too but yeah <laughs> so that's how you do it um that's how you get audio and so what you do you record it hit the record button make sure that track selected and just hit record and just mess with the controls and that's how you do it live and just sample it and there you go so there's your audio that's your bass on your lead or your whatever you want to make out of it that's cool now um now to automate which is a big one because you know you can mess with the lfos the vcas all that type of stuff the rate the LFO rate and all that, live, which is pretty cool. You get some pretty cool effects. But if you want something a bit more, I don't know, quantized sort of thing, I don't know if that's the right term to use. But yeah, if you want something to know what's going to happen, <coughs> automate controls. So on each device, the MIDI is going to be different. I have go to your, say if you're using something else, but for the Minotaur, I've downloaded the um, codes for it. Let's go to Moog. Um, so that's uh, the manual. So just get your manual out. Go scroll down to yeah, shit, too far. Here we go. So these are your control parameters, the functions, and the CC. That's the mini CC. These are the ones you need. It's got different value ranges: zero to one hundred twenty-seven. One hundred twenty-seven, obviously, being the highest, and it doesn't go over that. And so what you want to find is different. I'm just gonna put this out of the screen, so I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, different codes for say for instance i want to control the lfo i can physically put my hand on that and tweak it or i 
go into here, if we zoom up in here, I can find the, um, the, the number for it, like the CC MIDI number. Um, just looking in the here, modulation, LFO rate. Okay, so that's the dial, adjust the LFO frequency, and the CC is MSB, it's gonna be the top one here. Uh, I actually don't know what these are the difference, but I've tried them both out and it's the MSB, so I just need to do some more research, or you guys can, whatever. So in this one, it's CC3. So in Cubase, I'm gonna go into here, make an automation for the, the MIDI track. I'm gonna select here, I'm gonna go to more, and see all CC, these are MIDI commands. So these are all the ones that goes up to 127. These are the codes. So I'm gonna click on CC3, which it said on that and on the manual. Okay, so I'm gonna hit read and I'm gonna bring that up and 127 obviously being the highest. And there we go, now the LFO is gonna be automated to yeah the highest possible point. So I can record the automation you'll see this getting far faster and there you go and that's how you automate um, CC commands MIDI commands for your external device and yeah if you want to automate like uh, attack decay sustain <coughs> filters any of that shit you just look at what it is you want to automate so if you want to uh, adjust the level of the VCO, that's gonna be on MSB15. So I'll go here, I'll make another automation track. Go more, CC, 15, there we go, and read. And there you go, and there's your automation for that one too. And yeah, that's how you do it. I uh, hope you guys make good use out of it.